Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a trying new makeup, a ton of new releases, super hyped products in this particular trying new makeup. You would have seen in the thumbnail all the things that we're going to try. KVD, Jaclyn Hill, Too Faced, Patrick Ta, KKW. We have a lot of brands to test out in this video. I have been dying to film this particular trying new makeup just because of all the things that I have here. I've been wanting to put on my face. So this is going to be a good one for me. I hope you guys enjoy this too. If you like trying new makeups, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out, lets me know that you like these kind of videos. Subscribe before you leave, hit that bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos. And let's go ahead and begin this trying new makeup. For eyes today, we're going to be using the new Too Faced Teddy Bear palette. Just got this in the mail. I got a box with just a teddy bear head in it. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. But it ended up being a purse with these products inside. I'm just like, what is this? But thank goodness I saw Too Faced on the side right away, else I would have been concerned. Like, why am I receiving just a chopped head in the mail? Here is the palette. It's honestly so stunning. I had zero expectation, had no idea I was receiving this too. This took me by surprise just by looking at it. It's really a stunning palette, but I also initially thought, wow, <laughs> this is so small compared to a normal size Too Faced like bar palette. It is a much tinier version if you can see the comparison there. Online is weird like that because I honestly thought this was just a regular size palette, but it's definitely a little mini palette. I think the size is really nice and compact. I really like the packaging. For today, I figure we're going to match the nails, do a sort of pink look. So I'm going to start off with this pink. I do have blue contacts in. It doesn't really look that way right now though because the lights are so bright and you can see my green in the middle, but they might look scary right now, but they do look really natural in person. But up close, we're gonna look a little bit weird, I think. I'm just gonna start off with this pink shade. I've had really good success with Too Faced eyeshadows. I do like them. There is a little bit of kick up in the pan. Doesn't bother me whatsoever. Seems to be blending and building nicely. This palette reminds me a little bit of the One Hooded Beauty palette. Now that I'm looking at it up close. Just the tones of it. I think that's why I'm really attracted to it. Let me go find that palette and show you guys what I mean. This is the new nude palette from Huda Beauty compared to the Too Faced. You can see the whole vibe is very similar. You get a little bit more shades in the Huda Beauty. So if you have that one, I wouldn't necessarily say you need this one. But if you never got that, this is definitely a very nice palette in terms of its color scheme. That blended out really nice. I'm loving how that looks so far. For my lid, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Just swatching it on my hand, it was hard to pick up. I'll probably need to spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus, but I'm gonna go in first just with it dry to see how it applies. Definitely needs a little bit of Fix Plus for that. Definitely picks out much better. A Little bit of setting spray. Yeah, that's like night and day. <laughs> right now. Just going in with this shade on the outer corner. Just going to deepen it up a little bit and then I'm going to do a smoky wing. Then going back in with that first shade in the crease just to deepen things up and then taking this shade right here to do a smoky wing. Just a little one. Taking these two shades I'm just going to lightly highlight the brow bone and clean up the crease color. So here is the completed look using the Teddy Bear palette. I do have a little bit of fallout. Not too bad, but enough to warrant doing my eyes first, <laughs> for sure. So those are the eyes complete. I really like how the look turned out. Overall, I enjoy this palette so far. I thought the shades were really easy and blendable. There was some fallout, but nothing out of the ordinary. There is kick up in the pan, but the shadows are pigmented and not patchy, super easy to blend. And I just saw on the back right now, the shade names and they're so cute. The snuggle is real. Like this is such a cute little palette. I honestly had zero expectation going into that. Having seen it and used it in person, I like it more than I did when I initially saw it online. Now for lashes, I'm going to test out the Lancome Idel mascara. This has been out for a little bit. I just got it in PR and it has a rubberized wand on it, curved like that. We will see how this goes. So far, just with one coat, my lashes look really nice, like separated and a good amount of volume. 
I have seen them longer before, but so far it's really nice for the first application. And I almost always hate mascara <laughs> right off the hop, but this one, the formula isn't too wet, but it's not dry either. It's really nice in between. I actually really like this. That eye's turning out so nice. That is two coats of the mascara. I actually really like how this looks like on my lashes. Honestly, I never liked these rubberized wands, but because this has that bend to it, I feel like it's actually a really decent rubberized wand because it can really cup your lashes and give the effect that I need for my lashes. I like something that cups my lashes, like an hourglass brush. That's why I really like those. So this, big fan of right now. I'm gonna have to see how this wears throughout the day, but so far so good. If this flakes, smudges, smears, and it's a no-go, but right off the hop, I'm really liking the formula. I did get a little bit on my lid, which I'll try and remember to clean off later. <laughs> I'm really bad for that, but so far so good. I'm really happy with everything so far. Then I did wanna put on a pair of lashes today, and I was on the Walmart website, and I saw these Lash Couture Luxtensions from Kiss, and I've tried almost all, I wanna say, of their lash styles, but I've never tried the Luxtension, so I decided to pick this up. I do get PR from Kiss, but as I said, I've never tried this one, and I saw it and really wanted to pick it up. So it is in the style Royal Silk, and these are supposed to look like lash extensions, which I've always wanted to try, but I'm nervous that I would be allergic to the adhesive because I'm so sensitive in the eye area. So these look really pretty and they're supposed to mimic like a lash extension sort of look. They have a nice thin band. These are gonna be really long for my eyes, so I'm definitely gonna have to cut some off. Let's see how much. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut a good portion of the end off. I'm cutting off two whole segments. I didn't notice until now when I was putting on my lashes. This is scented. Like cinnamon? I'll have to check. My nose senses cinnamon. This is what the lashes look like, really pretty. They're super fluttery and wispy, which I really like. So that is very similar to like a lash extension sort of effect. My glue is taking forever to dry for some reason, but the lashes themselves look really nice. So I'm happy with those two. And now we're just going to go ahead and move on to the face. I'm dying to show you guys the KVD balm on my skin. So let's jump to complexion and then finish off the eyes after. For primer, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. It's dewy foundation grip up to 24 hours. And I have yet to try this primer, but I thought it would go nicely with that KVD balm, which we'll be using on top. Here is what the packaging of the All Nighter Primer looks like. I really like their other one. I think it's just a gripping primer, but this is the Ultra Glow Clear Consistency right there. Feels really nice and moisturizing. Oh yeah, this definitely feels like something that I could get a lot of use out of. It's not thick. I thought it was gonna be thick like the Hydra Grip from Milk but it has that nice, really smoothing, thin gel-like consistency, and it's definitely getting tacky. So not as thick as, as I said, the Hydra Grip. So I kind of like this consistency better. And I really love the Milk Hydra Grip. That gave a nice amount of glow to the skin. And now we're going to go ahead and use the KVD Balm. This is literally the only shade I could get my hands on. So we're going to make it work. It is not my shade and it is medium 045, but as I said, I'm gonna make it work today. I have used this before, so I could test out the wear for you guys. Very full coverage. This went viral on TikTok. That's why you can't find it anywhere. And I'm just going to take some of that balm. I'm gonna show you how it goes on the skin. Very full coverage. So that is one dip in, you see? And I believe this is a neutral undertone. It does pull quite orange on me and it does oxidize. So you can see from my neck, I have a little bit more pink to my skin. So a cool would definitely be better for me at the moment. But it has insane coverage and it gives this beautiful, dewy, perfected look to the skin. And I'm not wearing a pore filler. So you guys can truly see how this looks like on my skin. 
This is what the KVD Balm looks like on my skin. It gives a really nice finish. It is really beautiful. I can see why so many people are going crazy over it. I don't think it looked as good on my skin as I've seen it on other people. It's not bad, it's really nice, but honestly, there's other foundations on me that just wear better throughout the day. And this doesn't wear horribly by any means, it actually wears quite nicely. But I do find some other products look more natural on my skin throughout the day. And this can kind of look a little unnatural, maybe slightly cakey. I can see around my nose that it can cake up a bit too. And it's just that sort of product that kind of can settle in areas, on my skin anyways. So it's a really nice foundation. I feel like a lot of people are going to like it. Would I repurchase this foundation again myself? No. Would I return this foundation? No. I'm glad I purchased it. It is nice. I will get my use out of it, but it's just something that I wouldn't repurchase again. It's not one of my top tier foundations. I think it looks like a top tier on a lot of people, just not on my skin. You guys let me know. How do you think it looks like on my skin? I mean, it doesn't look horrible by any means. I'm just, I know my skin and I know that there's other foundations that look better. And then I picked up this sponge from Shein. So this is the She Glam line and I've been purchasing a bunch of their products and really liking them. So I decided to pick up the sponge. It comes with a case, which I thought was cool. Looks like a little egg. Here's what the sponge looks like. It says it's designed this way for multi purposes. So you can use the top as a contour stick the side for foundation and baking, the other side for contour and blending. And then these bottom sections you can use for highlighter and blush, hard to reach areas, and then the bottom you can use to shape your eyebrows, it says. So I just wet the sponge, it did expand, nice and big right now, so it is damp. And I'm going to be applying the Laura Mercier concealer in a stick form to my eyes. This is their Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo and I have the shade 2W. So I was worried this would be not very creamy, but you can see it glide on my skin. Like it's super creamy. It's not a stiff formula by any means. So I'm just going to do a little bit of the Brighten and this is the Illuminate. Just kind of mixing them. I'm gonna use the damp sponge to blend that out. Every time I hear someone say, I'm gonna use a damp sponge. I always <laughs> hear damp sponge. I'm like, why are you so angry? <laughs> Just using my damp sponge. <laughs> Just like I thought, that concealer, I could tell the formula when I was gonna pair it with the KVD that it would really play nicely. Like that is a match made in heaven. Those two kind of consistencies, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it when I was gonna apply it. Cause I've used both individually before, but not together. And I knew for this video, I was trying to find the new products. I'm like, these are gonna be a match made in heaven. So I'm just using that sponge to press that KVD into my skin. And then I've only been highlighting my nose lately. I haven't been bringing concealer anywhere else but my nose and then underneath my eyes. I really like that concealer underneath my eyes. This is just a really good makeup day. <laughs> Then I was so excited for the launch of this product. I didn't even wait for the sale because I didn't want it to sell out. It is the Patrick Ta for face. He came out with bronzers and I got She Sculpted. That's the medium tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the cream to chisel out my face. And then we'll use the powder after we set the face. The tone of this, honestly, this isn't my kind of color which I was worried about going into this shade because I kind of need a shade that's in between his medium and his dark, I felt like, for my skin when I was just looking at the tones. Because right now, it just looks a little too ashy on my skin. It's not very flattering on my skin tone. I am going to go over it with a little bit of my foundation just to tone it down. We'll add the warm bronzer on top, but just this tone for me is not something I would purchase like individually. So I guess that was slightly disappointing in this launch, even though I was very excited to try it. It was just the tone I could tell right off the bat. I'm like, this isn't gonna be my tone. But because you can use both colors combined, I thought maybe it would pull itself together when I add the bronzer on top. So we will try. She sculpted. She's not blended, <laughs> that's what she's not. So this is made for medium skin tones and I wouldn't consider myself a dark medium. I'm more of a light medium, I would say. 
at the moment. I almost fell off my chair. <laughs> so I do not like the tone right now. I'm just gonna say that right away. I'm gonna try and blend it in. I feel like with the bronzer on top, it's all gonna work out. We're all good here. So maybe that's the beauty in this product, but this isn't one of those type of products I could use that shade individually. I could maybe use it slightly at the back portion of my cheek, but just to contour my face is just not the kind of tone that I would reach for. I also managed to get my hands on the new L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. I couldn't decide whether I was going to use this one or my Kosas, and I feel like this one might be better used for another video. So I might use this in my next trying new makeup just because the Kat Von D and this, I feel like are both very viral and those two together, it wouldn't make sense to me. So I'm just going to use the Kosas for a light set on my face. This is the Kosas Cloud Set in Comfy. Looks like this. It's just going to lightly set the face, not add any kind of coverage. It doesn't take away the glow of my skin. Like you can still see it through. With this powder, it's just a really nice light set. It's been one of my favorite like everyday sort of powders just for like a natural makeup day, even though today is far from natural. <laughs> and then I'm just taking a little bit of my Huda Beauty powder I'm trying to use up for Project Pan and my Huff from Beauty Blender, which you guys need if you have not got already. <laughs> this literally is a game changer for me. And I use this to set my under eye and it just smooths everything out so nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the powder product in the Patrick Ta bronzer to warm up this skin. Is this showing up? All right, so this might be one of the most natural looking bronzers. It's not very pigmented, like at all. But that's kind of a good thing too, cause I overdo it. It's actually really beautiful in a way. I've never used anything like this really, like this sheer, but it, it's nice and buildable and it looks very, very natural. And it definitely saved the day for that super cool contour. So I see what he's doing here. It's really, really pretty. I was getting worried there. I'm like, do I not like this product? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. If it was individual, I wouldn't like the other side. But together, I feel like it is starting to come together. What do you guys think? Do you think this kind of saved my complexion? <laughs> or maybe you like the tone on my skin. I honestly did not like that cream tone on me. That's pulling everything together, I feel. We're getting there. I'm getting a little bit of settling under this eye. You guys can see that. We're just gonna have to keep an eye on this eye. I don't know if that was the concealer. I can barely see this on my forehead though. That's a thing. I still stand by, I feel like I would need a color in between medium and dark though, just cause I'm gonna sit here for like 30 minutes trying to bronze my skin. And then for blush, I'm gonna be using this KKW Beauty Blush and Honey Pot. This was from her Honey Collection and I fell in love with that collection. I initially wasn't gonna buy anything from it, but then I went and bought a lot from it. So this reminds me of Melba. If you're familiar with Mac Melba, it's really similar to that, a little bit deeper, and I think slightly more peach, but if you like that sort of color, which I've been honestly wearing on like a daily basis until I got this blush, very, very similar. You will love this color too. So if you're a Melba fan, pick up Honey Pot. Very similar vibes. I was gonna contour my nose, but I'm not going to do that today. For whatever reason, I feel like a bigger nose gives me a younger appearance. <laughs> do you find that with a nose too? Like a super sharp chiseled nose? Maybe I'm stepping back from that. I don't know. I've been doing less contour of my nose lately anyways. I might sit back after this and regret that decision, but I feel like it's the right one at the moment. I'm just going to finish off my eyes quickly. Just a little bit of color underneath the eye while I remember. Just cover up the creasing wrinkles. As much as I liked how that concealer looked initially, I probably applied too much, but I think like a cream formula like that, at least underneath my eyes, might be a little too heavy. I'm gonna play around with that 
still in C. My eyes really like a liquid concealer, something hydrating underneath the eyes. So that one I feel like might be a little too thick for my under eye area. Let me know if you've tried it. I know a lot of people DM me saying they love that concealer, but I don't usually have that problem with it settling. Just using this mascara on my lower lash line or my lower lashes, working really nicely too. I'm a big fan of this mascara so far, big fan. To finish off the face, I did go ahead and place an order on Jaclyn Cosmetics and I did get a highlight. So this is my first time ever ordering from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I got the shade Sparks because that was what was in stock. I really wanted ice, but it wasn't in stock at the time. And then I picked up a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna use that to finish off the look. And I didn't get any duties. The shipping was a flat rate of $10 to Canada. Shipped pretty fast, honestly. And everything came intact, well shipped. So that was my first ever experience with Jaclyn Cosmetics. This was the only time I've ever ordered. So I can only speak on my own experience, but I was hesitant to purchase from the company after everything that happened. But a bunch of you reached out and wanted me to pick stuff up and let you know how the shipping and everything was to Canada. So my experience for this one order I did was excellent. And for the highlight, I know everyone's going crazy over the ice shade. This is a more yellow gold and it's pretty, but I feel like it sits on top of my skin a little bit. And I've stepped back from those really blinding highlights and you can definitely make this blinding, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna just use it lightly. As I said, I don't wear a ton of highlight lately. I've been really enjoying a matte face. And I don't know how I managed to get my hands on one of the lip liners because I know those sold out really fast. And I don't feel like I was overly fast that checking out <laughs> for some reason. Usually I'm the person where everything gets taken out of my cart, but I managed to grab a lip liner and this is the one I wanted in Coffee Cake. And I have to say these lip liners are top notch. They glide on really, really beautifully. I already need to <laughs> sharpen mine because I've been using it a ton. The only thing I noticed with her lip liners, I noticed the browns were really warm and I wanted a more neutral to cool tone brown and something deeper, but not too deep. But you will see this shade pairs perfectly with the liquid lip I got. So just a really easy to work with formula. I'm gonna fill in my entire lip just so you can see the color. So there's coffee cake on my lip. You can tell it's just a little bit warmer of a brown tone than I normally like to apply. And then I got the shade Nudie, which is her lightest shade in her liquid lip formula. And this is a really thin formula, nice smell to it. You can see how light this is. So we're gonna only apply a little bit. This is how I intended to wear the color was to deepen it with a lip pencil. Again, I wanted something a little neutral to cool. And this one is slightly peachy. Again, a little warm for me, but it's a really pretty color. Like when I pair the two together, I like it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the lip pencil. So there is the color combined and that's the shade Nudie, as I said. And the thing with the liquid lip color for me, I do get a little bit of flaking in the inner bit of my mouth. So you can see that kind of pulling off because it is a little bit sticky. You can see that. So it does pull off from the inner bit of my mouth. I don't usually have that issue with my favorite liquid lip colors. So it does do that for me. It does feel comfortable though. It's not overly drying on the lips, but it does come off. So I feel like there's a wear issue for this color with me, but you can just reapply it. So I just wanted to note that if you were looking to purchase some of the liquid lip colors, it does do this weird kind of peeling thing on my lips because of the sticky quality to the lip color. But I love the two colors I picked. Like this kind of nude combo is my kind of color. I feel like I'm missing something. Probably my nose contour. <laughs> I'm just going to finish off the face with the Benefit the Pore Professional Super Setter Spray. Got a little mini of these on Sephora and I've really wanted to try this. Beautiful mister. It's like perfect, smells good. It's dripping down my hand somehow. So this one's leaking. So 
so there's some kind of issue with this particular pump, but the spray is good. It's just leaking out the bottle. I hope the big size isn't like that. Super set my entire arm. I'm just going to let that spray settle in my skin and then I'm gonna come back and we're going to finish off the video with final thoughts. This is the completed look and we are back to go over all the makeup we have here, my final thoughts on everything, whether I think it's worth trying, skip, we'll go over it all. So the first thing, Teddy Bear Palette, I would say go pick it up if you like the Too Faced formula, if you're into this color scheme. If you have the Huda Beauty palette that I showed, I would just skip on this because I honestly like the Huda Beauty one better, but if you don't and want something like this, more compact, these sort of tones, I had zero issue with that. The She Glam sponge, if you like the Morphe sponge like I do, looks like this. I would definitely pick up the She Glam one, it's cheap and it does have a really nice bounce to it. Good edges for different sort of things you could do with a sponge. The KVD Good Apple Foundation. Should you pick it up? <laughs> that is the ultimate thing. I would say give it a try. Honestly, you could just return it if you don't like it. But for me, would I purchase this again? I wouldn't. Only because it's not my top tier foundation. I think I look good. Like I think the skin looks good. I think the tone actually turned out quite well in the end, probably because of the Patrick Ta, which we'll get to, because <laughs> that really cooled me down. The skin looks good. It looks hydrated, healthy. Does this wear as well as some of my other foundations? No, but I think this is a top runner for how it initially looks like on my skin. So that's why I feel like a lot of people like it because they instantly put it on and they're like, wow, <laughs> this is something. Something I would say check out but it would be in my not repurchasing category. The Kosas powder, if you're looking for an everyday set powder, highly recommend this. I've been raving about this for a while now. The KKW Beauty Blush, love her products. Honestly, there's few that don't work for me. This blush formula, really nice and buildable, super smooth, not patchy, beautiful color. If you like Mac Melba, you'll love that blush. The Patrick Ta for face, I'm kind of on the fence about honestly, because I do like how natural it is, but I also don't like the contour color. And I feel like he should have done more shades in this because he only has three. And I feel like I personally would fall in between the dark and the medium in his whole color scheme. So that's my only complaint about it was the cream product in this was not really my perfect tone. I feel like with the bronzer added on top, it gave a really natural look to the skin and I like how my skin looks. So that's not to knock it, it's different from what I usually use, I don't think it's bad, but for me, again, it's not something I would personally purchase again, but I'm glad I have it and I'm glad I purchased it. So I hope that makes sense. And then the Urban Decay All Nighter Glow Primer, good success initially when I tried it. There's the cap for it, found it. I like this, I'm gonna continue to use it. Felt great on the skin. I think it worked really nicely with that KVD balm. Probably my front runner for this whole video, which totally shocks me is the Lancome Lash Edel Mascara. This was beautiful. I absolutely love the formula, the brush even, even though it's a rubberized wand, love this mascara. Paired with these lashes, I think they're really nice, the kind of super fluttery look from Luxtensions. The Benefit Professional Setting Spray. I don't think it's better than my Charlotte Tilbury by any means, kind of leaked on me, but it, might be just the trial size. Hopefully that's not the full size, so you guys haven't had that experience, but for me personally, if I was gonna recommend a setting spray, it's always gonna be Charlotte Tilbury every day, all day. <laughs> the Laura Mercier Concealer. I'm like a love-hate with this. I feel like it looks beautiful, but if it's starting to crease underneath my eyes, I'm gonna try using less. I feel like it worked itself out now though. Like I don't notice it. So this I'm still on the fence about. I'm gonna continue to test it out for you guys. And then for the Jaclyn Hill products, I personally wanna still pick up Iced and see if I like that better for the highlight. For me, I'm just not into yellow tones like this anymore. I thought it would be a little bit lighter on my skin and it looks pretty, but I feel like it sits a little bit. It doesn't mesh in with my skin. As I said, I still wanna try out Iced because that's what I hear everyone raving about. And then for the lip products, I would 100% buy a lip pencil again. Amazing, super creamy, easy to work with formula. Wish there was different colors, but the formula of the pencils are really nice. And for the liquid lipsticks, it's still a little sticky. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just not my preferred 
liquid lipstick formula. It is comfortable, like she says, but because it is so thin and it does that sticking thing, it peels off on me. So I wouldn't repurchase any more of these liquid lip colors for me personally. It's just not my favorite formula. And I think that's everything that we tested out today. And it was honestly a good day. I don't feel like there's horrible, horrible formulas that I tried. It's just honestly personal preference for a lot of these products. So if you happen to like similar style of makeup and products to me, hopefully this helps you out decide on maybe what you wanna pick up. And some of these super high products, maybe you can skip on, purchase, see what you like from this video. And I just hope it was helpful for you guys. So I had so much fun filming this. I think the look turned out really beautiful. I love how the skin looks, the eyes look, the lips even, like I'm really a big fan of this whole look in general and hope you guys enjoyed the video. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you have been loving lately or want to see in a new trying new makeup coming up on my channel so I can go pick that up for you guys. Hope you're enjoying the Sephora sale going on. Maybe me trying some of these products out will help you decide whether you want to purchase or not because that ends on April 19th. So again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to do so by hitting the red button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video.